Hey YouTube, in this video I want to show you how to update the firmware on your ASUS RTN12B1 wireless router. I know there was a new firmware update available for this router and I just wanted to walk you through how to do it. Just be advised that whenever you update firmware or your BIOS or anything like that, there is a little bit of a risk that you could break your hardware, so just be aware of that and understand the risk before you try it yourself. If you go ahead and navigate to the product page on the manufacturer website, which I've got shown here, you can just get there by Googling it. If you go to the support tab, you'll find a downloads tab. And if you select your operating system, in which case I've got Windows 764, you'll see all the downloads related to this router here. Firmware, the newest version is shown at the top. It's 3004. 374.430. But to download the newest file, hit the global download button. You'll get about a 6 meg zip file that you've got to extract, uh, which I've already done here. This TRX file is the new firmware that you uh, unzip, so we'll just put that aside for a second. So now we're going to log into the router itself and perform the update. Just as a word of caution, make sure that you're not using a wireless connection to actually perform the update because, as you might expect, the wireless will cut in and out as the router's firmware is updated so if you're using a wireless connection you'll be essentially sawing off the branch that you're standing on as you update so make sure you're plugged in with an ethernet cable into one of the four LAN jacks on the back of the router so open a new tab in your browser type in 192.168.1.1 which is the address of the router you may be prompted with a login page just type in your username and password for the router itself and you'll get to this page. If it doesn't look exactly the same, don't worry. This is uh, what it looks like when you have the new beta firmware, the, the 370 here. So this procedure should be pretty much the same even though the user interface may look a little different. Navigate to the administration section, hit firmware upgrade, you can browse, choose the new TRX file, hit upload, but as a side note, there is a section where you can save all your settings in your router for later because a firmware upgrade uh, will probably reset them all. So if you want to remember what everything is and not have to bother resetting it manually, this is a pretty handy tool. But for now, go ahead and hit firmware upgrade, click on browse for the new file, and uh, 370 is what we had before, or is what I currently have. And here's the new section, the, the new uh, firmware. So let me copy that address. Paste, we're going to want to select the 430 file and hit upload. And uh, just as a side note, make sure that you're using Internet Explorer, not Google Chrome, because I've done a couple of firmware updates on this router in the past, and Chrome didn't seem to work very well. This takes about three minutes. So we're almost done here, 98%. So this 370, just kind of grayed out right now in the background, should change to 430 when this is done to indicate that it was successful. There we go, 430. Now we've got the newest firmware, so that's all you got to do to update to the newest firmware version. Thanks for watching.